Hey, what's up guys? So you know what's best on Hub is a wireless router that Google has just announced and released. And this is aimed to be the router of the future, something that's gonna grow with you, something that's gonna be very easy to use, still be able to download new features in the future and be able to have the best security and also have really good performance. So as I unbox this new router, I would go over some of the things that make this router what it is. And so for a $200 router, it basically has everything you expect. It will work with the latest standards, including 82.11 AC, and it will be able to get you up to 1900 megabits per second. Then to be able to keep all your devices that either use 2.4 gigahertz or the five gigahertz band working simultaneously. And it works with Weave, it's Bluetooth smart ready. And so this is the future. So it's gonna be ready with automatic software updates. So you don't have to worry about keep checking up on your router. All of that stuff will come through in the future, right down the pipeline, straight to your router from Google. Now in total, this router has 13 antennas. Six are gonna be for 2.4 gigahertz. The other six are gonna be for five gigahertz. And then it has one that's gonna be for 2.4 gigahertz, but it's actually a front facing antenna. And so to describe it like an antenna dish, so you'll be able to kind of angle the router. And with that, that one antenna kind of point it towards the direction that you wanna have the best performance at. So with all of these antennas, you should be able to get a good amount of coverage no matter where you place it. Now on the top, you'll find ventilation holes. And really underneath that, you'll also find a speaker that I've only used during setup. So when you are setting up, uh, your router, it can play a tone and you can hold your phone close to it and it'll automatically pair uh, the app on your phone to the router itself. Now internally, you do have a dual core 1.4 gigahertz processor. You have one gigabyte of RAM and four gigabytes of flash storage. Now overall, the designer own hub is pretty spot on. This is a device that Google wants you to put out in the open. They don't want you to tuck it in the back of your office somewhere. They want you to show this thing off. Now after you take the cover off on the bottom, you'll be able to have access to all the ports. So there is one USB port, then also you have your power port and then you have one WAN and one LAN port. Now that's definitely a downside for, especially if you're a power user that likes to have a lot of things connected to your router, because most routers in this price range have at least four extra ports on there. Uh, with just that one extra port, you can only plug in you know, one other thing. But for most people, this probably won't be a problem. But again, for somebody like me, it's kind of a step backwards. And also another thing with the design is that if you do use your own ethernet cables and not the ones included with the own hub, which are very, very thin, but if you use regular ones that are gonna be round and pop possibly thick. Um, the casing on the own hub is not going to actually be able to snap down and, and, and close down all the way. It's actually just going to be kind of floating up a little bit. So Google could have added just a little bit more space for different size ethernet cables uh, to prevent this from happening. But if you just use the ones that come with the own hub, you should be fine. But for me, it's a little bit of an eyesore knowing that it's not fully flush. Now, probably the best part about own hub is the setup process and also the app. So there's a Google on app that you can download for iOS and Android. And it's one of the easiest setup processes that I've ever experienced going through setting up a router. And so you can log in with your Gmail address and after you get set up, which is only gonna take you a couple minutes, um, you can access this router from anywhere just using the app. Uh, because it's gonna be connected to your Gmail account. Also, you can add other users. So if you're not really tech savvy and if you do happen to run into a problem using this, you can call me up or you can call the geek in your family and they can have access to your system or you can give them access to your system and they'll be able to help out whatever problems you may have. Now within the app, you can also see all the devices that are on your network. And this allows you to be able to see exactly how much bandwidth each uh, particular item is taken up. Now, one thing I would like to see added is the ability to be able to rename all the different devices on your network because right now my Xbox One shows up as Microsoft and I would like to be able to call that an Xbox One. That one seems simple enough to fix and hopefully they'll allow you to do that in the future. Now within the app, you can also prioritize one single device or how I like to call it, make it the real MVP. And you can cause the router to say, hey, I wanna make sure I'm sending the best bandwidth, making sure I get the best internet signal to my Xbox One for my gaming. Or I can select my iMac if I'm uploading this video to make sure it can get uploaded as fast as possible. And then really the goal of this app is to be a very simple, easy thing to use so you don't have to to log in on your computer and go to a website and have tons of different options just thrown at your face. Uh, everything is really organized nicely within this app itself. But really this own hub is really just the first kind of piece in Google's connected home future that they're gonna be trying to sell you. And basically the app itself is not even called own hub, it's called Google On, which will probably be the brand name of everything. So it's probably gonna happen with thermostats and light bulbs and sound systems. And I can see this, this router because it does have a speaker being able to play music through the Google On app alongside some other wirelessly connected speakers. And so this is kind of the first step in the feature of, of what Google's gonna be doing here with trying to make sure your home is gonna be as advanced as possible. And so yeah, so we could see this thing get some features similar to what the Amazon Echo can do as far as being a device that you wanna interact with daily, 
not just use as a router. So that would definitely be nice. And so that's on hub. I'll leave more links down below if you want to find more information about this router and also leave your comment down below what you think about this on hub router. Is it something that you may want to have in your home? Let me know. And thanks for watching guys. And like always, I will catch you later. Peace.